this is Mama Lu. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, our lesson for today's video is factors of the sum and difference of two cubes. But before we move on to that, let us try to recall some numbers which are perfect cube. Okay, so I have here the list of numbers which are perfect cube. So we have here 1. 1 is a perfect cube because 1 cube is equal to 1. And 1 cube means 1 times 1 times 1. Okay, 8 is a perfect cube. And the cube root of 8 is 2. 2 cube is 8. 27 is a perfect cube. The cube root of 27 is 3. 64, the cube root is 4. 125, the cube root is 5. 216, the cube root is 6. 343, the cube root is 7. 512, the cube root is 8. And so on and so forth. So guys, importante na medyo ma-memorize nyo yung mga numbers na perfect cube. Kasi makakatulong sa inyo yan na ma-recognize kung nag-fall ba sa sum and difference of two cubes yung polynomial na pinafactor mo. Okay. Now, if you're getting the factors of a sum of two cubes, meron tayong formula ang ginagamit. So, let's say for example, you are factoring x cubed plus y cubed. The factors of x cubed plus y cubed are, eto yon. meron siyang isang binomial factor, so, this is the binomial factor at isang trinomial factor. Ano yung nakalagay sa binomial factor? Tingnan muna natin yung given. So, x cubed. Kuhanin muna natin yung cube root ng x cubed. What do you think is the cube root of x cubed? Okay, so it must be x what about y cube? So, the cube root of y cube is y. Now, let's get uh, let's give the binomial factor. So, the, the binomial factor consists of the cube root of the given terms. So, x cubed, the cube root is x. So, we have here x plus the sign here. The cube root of y cube is y. So guys, that's the binomial factor. Now, what about the trinomial factor? The first term in the trinomial factor is the square of the first term in the binomial factor. So what must be the square of x? So it's to, it should be x squared. Okay. Next, the sign of the second term in the trinomial factor is opposite the sign here in the binomial factor. So, it should be negative because this is positive. The second term in the trinomial factor is the product of the binomial factors regardless of the sign. So, what is the product of x and y? What is x times y? So, x times y is xy. And the last term in the trinomial factor is the square of the second term in the binomial factor. So, what's the square of y? So, it must be y squared. So, ganyan lang yung susundan natin formula, no? Whenever we factor a, uh, a cube, no? Sum of two cubes, or difference of two cubes, meron siyang dalawang factors. Isang binomial at isang trinomial. Okay, now, let's try it 
to difference of two cubes. So, let's say you are going to factor x cubed minus y cubed. So, like what we did here, ang factors niya ay isang binomial at isang trinomial. So, get the cube root of the first term. What's the cube root of x cubed? Okay, so it's x. What about y cubed? So, it's y. So, the binomial factor is x minus y. So, the cube root, no? x minus the sign here or the operation here. And then, the cube root of the second term is y. Now, the trinomial factor should be the square of the first term in the binomial factor. So, it should be x squared. Opposite the sign here. So, it is plus the product of the two terms here in the binomial factor. x times y regardless of the sign. So, that's xy. And then, the square of the second term. What's the square of negative y? So, it is positive y squared. So, like here in uh, sum of two cubes, itong difference of two cubes, pareha siyang merong dalawang factors, isang binomial at isang trinomial. Okay, let's try an example. Let's say you're asked to factor x cubed plus 8. Okay, you have here x cubed. The cube root is x because it's a perfect cube, not x cubed. The cube root is x. What about 8? Is it a perfect cube? Yes, it is. Kasama yan sa listahan natin, no? So, the cube root of 8 is 2. Okay, now, let's give the factors. One binomial and one trinomial. The cube root no? The cube root here in the binomial factor. So, we have x plus 2. Okay. The first term in the trinomial factor should be the square of the first term in the binomial factor. So, it's x squared. Okay. Next, opposite the sign of the binomial factor here. Opposite the operation. So, we have minus. Then, we give the product. For the second term in the trinomial factor, x times 2 is 2x regardless of the sign. So, that's 2x because kinuha na natin yung opposite ng sign. Okay, then the last term should be the square of the second term in the binomial factor. What is the square of 2? 2 times 2 or 2 squared is 4. Okay, so we have these factors x plus 2 times the quantity x squared minus 2x plus 4 okay, so let us try one more example we have here factor x to the 6 minus 1 okay what do you remember here x to the 6 minus 1 um, dito sa ating given sa number 2, do you still remember our last topic dun sa second vi uh, lesson video ko? Yung difference of two squares. Do you still remember? If you have x squared minus y squared, the factors are x plus y, x minus y. Okay? Let us see if this binomial fall under difference of two squares. Let us see if that falls under difference of two squares. Because I can see here the minus sign. So, it must be difference. Now, let us see if it is a difference of two squares. Let's look at the last term first. One. Is 1 a perfect square number? Yes, it is. Because 1 squared is equal to 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So, 1 is a perfect square number. 
At the same time, it is a perfect cube number. So, 1 is a perfect square number. So, the square root is 1. Now, what about x to the 6th power? 1 is a perfect square. Let us see whether x to the 6th power is also a perfect square. What do you think is the square root of x to the 6th? Okay, now, let's put an x here. What must be the exponent of x here so that this will be equal to x to the 6th? So, it must be 3 because x cubed quantity squared is equal to x to the 6th power. So, therefore, x to the 6 is a perfect square number and the square root is <coughs> x cubed. Therefore, x to the 6 is a perfect square and the square root of x to the 6 is x cubed. So, since this is a difference of two squares, the factors must be, katulad nito, kapag difference of two squares, sum and difference of the same two numbers. So, it should be x, x, what is the square root? x cubed plus 1 times x cubed minus 1. Now, let us see if it is completely factored. Kasi we will not stop unless it is factored completely. x cubed plus 1. So, sum of two cubes. 1 is a perfect cube. The cube root is 1. The cube root of x cubed is x. So, this is sum of two cubes. Na meron siyang isang binomial factor at isang trinomial factor. Just for this factor. So, we have x plus 1, x squared minus x plus 1. No? The cube root, the square of the first term, opposite the sign, the product, and the square of the second term. How about this one? This is difference of two cubes. So, meron din siyang two factors. One binomial and another trinomial. So, the cube root is x, the cube root is 1. So, we have x minus 1 for our binomial factor. For our trinomial factor, we have x squared opposite the sign, the product, and then the square of the last term. And now, the number or the given polynomial is completely factored. So guys, I hope na intindihan nyo kung paano mag-factor ng sum and difference of two cubes. If you have any question, just comment. No, just comment. And if you have any suggestions, video suggestions, feel free to comment. Thank you and until next video, bye!